In this uh, video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up and load an open channel reagent pack. In uh, this video, I'm going to be setting up a gentamicin for our Cobus. And um, all you're going to need to get started is everything you see there in front of you, um, which is going to be the actual reagent pack um, reagents, uh, the multi pack uh, cap remover, um, the cassette itself, and uh, just some connectors. Um, so the first thing you have to do is take the for the gentamice and the corresponding cap colors. You're going to go ahead and mix these two reagents. One is lyophysized and one is a uh, liquid reagent. Um, Roche in the instructions recommends that after you mix these, you just separate it back into the um, number two bottle where the liquid originally came from. However, I found that the uh, lyophysized control is a little bit finicky and tends to stay at the bottom of the container it comes in. So typically after I've mixed them a little bit, I just let them sit as you see it there, um, upside down, um, just so that I can make sure I get all the lyophysized out. Um, so then you're gonna go ahead and do the same thing with the white colored uh, reagents. Just remove the tops, attach the connector, and then just go ahead and connect them gently together. And then go ahead and give them a couple mixes. All right, mix and mix in. I'm just trying to get the um, lyophysized calibrator just detached from the bottom and mixed into the liquid. And uh, after you have these mixed to the level that you're happy with, um, these are recommended in the instructions to sit for five minutes before you move on to the next step. So after the five minutes have elapsed, you can go ahead and give these a couple more mixes. And then after this, you're just gonna go ahead and separate them from the glass containers. And you're gonna load them into the empty multi-pack cassette. Um, now this is gonna depend on how they have your open channel set up for us. We have the level one going into B and the uh, number two going into C position. Um, like I said, that's just gonna depend on where you work and how they set it up. This would probably, I would assume, be the most likely setup. So just go ahead and remove the glass container. Keeping the connector attached, then you can just go ahead and flip the cassette upside down and slowly pour that in. Just make sure you get all of the reagent into the cassette. Reapply the cap. Take off the next one. And then just go ahead and do the same process where you remove the glass jar and then add it to the cassette. And just, you know, always make sure that you get as much of the reagent as you possibly can into the actual cassette. Alright, and then after that you're just going to go ahead and put the last cap back on the cassette. And um, there you go. Uh, now, the instructions recommend that you leave this cassette before use in refrigerated temperatures for 30 minutes, either inside a refrigerator or inside the actual uh, machine itself before use. Now, after you have waited your 30 minutes, or you, like I said, you could put this on and then wait 30 minutes, but to do that, you have to make sure you're in standby, then go to reagents, and you have to dump any of the open channel uh, reagents still on board. So I had a few of the gentamicins left before I made up this one, and I went ahead and dumped that already. Um, after you've gotten that far, the next thing that you have to do is you click on open channel there at the bottom right, and you, these are the open channels you see that we have loaded. And I'm gonna be loading gentamicin, so you click on gentamicin. And then after that you wanna select reserve, and then okay. And what that does is it sets up the next cassette to be loaded onto the Cobus to be gentamicin. And there you go. Thanks for watching my video.